it's dulled some of the gloss of the people that we've been focusing our attentions on when it comes to AI, the likes of Sam Altman and Jensen Huang and feeling that these people and these American companies were showing us the way and telling us the, how it was going to be when it comes to AI and building the, this whole industry and this is the epicenter of it. And I feel like DeepSeek have kind of contradicted that. You know, there, there's a lot of people that are trying to, you know, come out of nowhere and these companies have come out. They haven't come out of nowhere. When ChatGPT was released, you know, and OpenAI was front and center and it was raising billions of dollars. It wasn't a surprise that really not long after, call it three, four months, the big Chinese firms, Baidu, Alibaba and others, Tencent said, hey, you know, we also have an AI model. Now, they didn't just you know, whip this up in a couple of months and throw it out there. They're obviously been working on this for some time, just not making a big fuss about it and a big kind of global splash about it. And so a lot of people underestimated big time, I think, China's capabilities. I think they thought the restrictions were there. But remember, the restrictions on NVIDIA chips were are new-ish, you know, last couple of years. So they would have been access to some of those chips prior to that. They would have been buying some of that up and had some capacity there. And as I mentioned earlier, the, the the gulf wasn't wide. So this whole, you know, this company's come out of nowhere. China's AI industry's come out of nowhere. It's not true. It's, it's been in the works. 